Good day guys, this is Lucayan Bulls TV here again today. And today we are going to talk about separating the American bully into three different breeds. Okay, now bear with me. I know all of you guys are probably freaking out. <gasps> what does he mean? <sighs> How dare he? But no, we're talking about a legitimate discussion that needs to be taken place because most of the dogs don't look alike. And I've come to the conclusion that asking for one look might be impossible at this point. I think we, in a pursuit of one look, too many American bullies would have to be eliminated. So for that reason, I came up with three different um, categories and three different names okay well somewhat okay so i'm going to start with the xls um anybody any dog over 22 inches um and ca is carrying more mastiff like um features temperament um Anything that, that is less American bully, uh, but more towards um, a protection kind of dog, we are going to call this the guardian bull, okay? For anything over 20 inches, 22 inches, sorry, okay? Now, um, for the dogs from 17 to 22 inches, and I said 22, because I think that the standard class should be extended to 22 inches for those dogs. And so I'm saying from 17 to 22. And that was not my idea. That was an idea of someone that brought up that uh, mentioned on a live I did the other day. And I thought it was a great idea. So the dogs exhibiting more extreme bully features like, um, let's say, <clears throat> Niles, uh, Rico Suave. Um, any dogs um, of that nature that are very extreme, blue, zero, have a lot of bone, a lot of mass, you guys can keep the name American Bully, okay? And reminder, just a reminder, these will be separate breeds. I am calling for that to be separate breeds. Also, going back to that, to the, um, the Guardian Bull, for those dogs that are over 22, um, I, I'm referring to examples like um, Dark Dynasties, the Hulk, and Pro Bulls, any, any, ex, any dog in that class, though, especially like Pro Bulls. You know, Pro Bulls produces a lot of dogs that are 24 inches in height and bigger. Um, so now going back to this class, um, you can keep the name the American Bully. Okay, and that class will go from 17 to 22 inches. Okay, and that also applies to their pockets as well. The extreme features, those dogs that particular size and mass. Okay, but now for dogs like the ones that I like, like uh, Remus, Omega, John Wayne. Dogs that uh, A.B. Casey doesn't really want per se or they don't have room for in that classic class. Let's just call those classic American bullies. And that is the only time I'm going to use the term classic is if they are willing to separate them as a different breed. Okay. And that will also be um, applied to pockets. Dogs with that same body frame not as much bone or as much bully features let's call them classic they will have a pocket class and a standard class but the standard class goes from 17 to 22. now remember the standard is supposed to be something that is achievable okay something that can be replicated over and over it's not supposed to be where um you're getting one out of every litter because what you're doing is actually promoting anomalies promoting bad practices which is actually um, 
Now, having individuals believe that they only need to get that one big game changer out of the litter, okay? The breed needs to be about consistency on the whole. So that is why um, I feel like um, the, it, it needs to be achievable. I heard some people saying that um, it's too easy to create classics, but hey, I mean, it makes sense. It should be done, okay? Uh, we're not looking for freaks here, um, especially freaks that can't replicate themselves, which we know usually they can't. So um, tell me what you think about this, guys. Um, all comments are welcome. All criticism is welcome. Um, but that is something that I've also been thinking about for a while. Because the one look at this point, I think, is just going to be impossible. Unless we were to completely start over. Okay? But um, thank you guys for watching today um, and every Thursday. And we appreciate you. You guys are helping the channel to grow. Uh, so stay tuned for next week. We will see you next time.